Why, hello there. You didn't think you'd ever see this puppy again, did ya? The third installment of Next Gen Desk PC is here. And guys, we are getting so close. I can taste it. Oh, sawdust. Disgusting. But that's okay. Because it only needs to look good and have top tier performance. Flavor is optional. So this time, the reservoir is finally for realsies done. The parts are mostly all here and it's time to put it all together and make sure it's actually going to work. But what if you're done work for the day? Well, then you should check out our sponsor, War Thunder. War Thunder is an online military vehicle combat game that's free to play and a ton of fun. Try it for free down below today and get some special bonus items for signing up. <laughs> now, I couldn't help noticing that other than the res being done, this looks pretty much the same as last time. It's changed a bit. So let's start with the res. It's been redesigned again. Now, instead of being a three-piece design, it's a four-piece design. The most failure-prone part of building this thing is drilling and tapping the G1 quarter holes. The new design does nothing to make acrylic less brittle. It just is. Right, but if we can do that brittle, finicky part before we invest a bunch of time, etching and cutting the 18 millimeter thick acrylic ring, at least it's not so heartbreaking <laughs> when oh. it breaks. Yeah. Uh, the port arrangement has also moved, so we've gone up to three ports from two, and we're gonna talk about that a little bit later. It looks freaking awesome though. This exceeds my expectations for yeah. what we were gonna end up with here. And it's full of water. That was a challenge. Sometimes you fix one problem and you create another, and moving to a four-piece design makes O-ring sealing way more difficult. I thought I could maybe get away with uh, acrylic solvent welding, the whole thing together, but it's a one-shot deal, mom spaghetti, so. Yeah, I mean, the small test chips look great. Yes. The uh, <clears throat> bigger test chips <laughs> leave a lot to be desired. I think the client, uh, would probably send this one back to the kitchen if it looked like that. That means we're back to using O-rings from cord stock. We have to make sure to tighten them evenly so they compress more or less equally the whole way around. Now, the yellow um, ooze. Yeah, that's O-ring lube. Uh, it's like Vaseline, essentially. Uh, I needed every chance I could get to keep it sealed because the laser leaves it a little bit rough in the grooves that I etched. Mm -hmm. It yellowed a bit with water. Who knows, maybe some water changes will help fix that. Truthfully though, I wouldn't have even noticed if you hadn't pointed out to me before we started shooting, so yeah, I yeah, don't yeah, think yeah. that's a big deal. And that concludes the scripted portion of today's video. Let's assemble a computer. Let's do it. <laughs> Got our new LTT store flask design here. You just pop that baby open, give it the old, you know, om nom nom. Do 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 do. See you later. Thanks to EK just littering us with stuff. Uh, what can I work on? I don't yeah, see do you want to make some hoses? Fittings uh, and stuff. Yeah, fittings are right behind you. They were sitting in the blue bins. Oh, there's your fittings. Um, this guy is going to be just a dump to tank, and it's pulling out of here. Mm hmm. Okay. I don't know how I didn't notice this before, but this, this is a very unusual graphics card. It's clearly an NVIDIA reference PCB of some sort, because it uses their little weirdo 12-pin connector. But instead of having the terminations for the G1 quarter fittings up here, they're at the back in more like a, kind of like a more server-friendly orientation. But it's an RTX 3070. Yo, dog, I heard you like fittings. So I put a fitting in your fitting. There's no, there's no tube going here. Like, that's it, that's going there. Which means, and this is bad news, this has to have a mount because it actually needs to come up a few millimeters. Do you mind supporting this a little bit? It just, uh, it just happily. Uh, goes kind of off angle and then it's really hard to, uh, oh. Hmm. This hard line run is going to be an absolute nightmare. There's no other way to get it in and out of there. Now I kind of wish we hadn't cut the holes yet because we could have turned the drives around and kind of gone this way if we needed a bit more room to move this out. Okay, so right now this is perpendicular to the edge of the desk. That's mm. where we want it. Mm. So that would put this like this. It's, it's not... Yeah, it's a yeah. little off. Yeah, it's a little off. Okay, so this has to go like this, which means we have to have 
some soft something somewhere in here. Yeah. Let me try something here. I'm gonna try something, ladies and gentlemen. Got a 90 degree fitting. Oh! She goes! We're not out of the woods here yet though, because here's the thing. Just because your right angle fits, doesn't mean your fitting fits. Oh boy, that's, that's ratchet. No, oh. Wait, 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 wait. No, 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 it hit the glass. You can, no, no. It hit the glass. No, no, hold on, hold on, I'm gonna prove, I'm gonna oh, prove it. Oh, you say you're gonna tilt it? I'm gonna prove it, hold on, hold on, I got this, I got this. Okay, that's fine, it's on, it's on enough for a test fit. So we, so we have that, and then a right angle. Okay. <laughs> okay. I don't know about using these hardline fittings, to be honest with you. They're just really junky, and they're gonna make our lives more yeah, difficult. We can use something else. Oh my God, why were, we even, why were we even talking about using these ones? This is, but what do you, but Colin, flow, cross-sectional like area, come on. This, ah, don't wreck my res. I think it's okay, actually. Okay, that is so much easier to deal with. Okay, do you think we can just get away with not having any of that? It rubs. Well, it will only rub once. Yeah, but we're gonna have to try to put tubing on here and stuff. Do we wanna try and put the fittings on the underside here so we can put the glass on? I already put fittings on it. <laughs> I've been out like grabbing fittings and he's just been working away. Yeah. And they actually like yeah, that actually like works great because they it, it uh, holds well, it at almost exactly the right height. It's real close. Yeah, <laughs> I mean it's kind of nice though, like to bring your graphics card up to the level of the desk, so it's like sitting right under the glass. Colin, if you hated the snake off the CPU block, you are going to double hate the snake off the GPU block. <laughs> oh man, how many O rings is it in like twelve inches? Oh God, One, so many. Two. Three, four, uh, five, six, seven. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, uh, oh for oh, what could go wrong? Oh for oh sh. <laughs> Are these posts not straight? There we go. Okay. Mint. It's gonna have to come off again to put thermal paste on it. But yeah, okay. yeah, that's fine. We're just we're experimenting. So we'll just do a ninety degree. <laughs> like it's the ultimate hard line. Yeah. All metal. All, all metal water cooling loop. Can we do that? We should at some We should point. do that. I think it's been done. We're trying to figure out what the best way to get the tubing cleanly in and out of this pump is, and I, I think that's gonna be it. This run is pretty much straight. Straight. And this one should actually be pretty much straight, yeah. too. We might have to snake it, Colin. Again. Again. Uh, it's okay, I already got one. This is a mess. <laughs> so many snakes. I thought it would be so much cleaner. Yeah, me too. Uh, <laughs> that's your, that's your, that's, I call this the weenie boy. <laughs> it's not about the size, it's about the functionality, all right? Yeah, whatever you tell yourself. Yeah, yeah. So one thing we haven't discussed yet is uh, that. Oh, shoot. Yeah. Just well, leave it there for aesthetics. But we could shim the desk up an inch. Nope. Okay. Let's work for me. All good. Yeah, no. Sold. Not necessary. Oh, wow, that would actually not be that hard to do. Yeah, it's really like put a oh. shim in. <laughs> oh, okay. Damn it. <laughs> wow, yeah. Well, if, before you told me how simple the solution was, <laughs> not counting the O rings that are in the reservoir, there's over 50 O rings in this loop. Oh, yeah, we didn't even count the ones in the blocks. Oh, yeah. And yeah. in the pumps. Give me your odds that this actually oh, stays God. pressurized 10%. This is a big loop. Yes. It's leaking. This one's loose. Okay. Damn, I was hoping it wouldn't be one of mine. It's holding. It's holding. I mean, one out of 50 ain't bad. That's 98% good. Unfortunately, in a water cooling loop, 98% ain't it, Chief? Oh, no, I hear one. No, it's leaking again. Hold on, hold on. A really good way to check where a leak is coming from is to use some soapy water. You'll start to see bubbles where the air is escaping the system. There's not enough uh, O-ring crushing going on right here. See that, Andy? How you can see the O-ring being crushed here and over here, but not right there. So that would explain how we had a little spill here. The bad news is that will significantly delay our test of the whole loop. The good news yep. is that should be a relatively simple fix with a thicker O-ring. Colin, I found it. Oh, there we go. Well, that might be it, dog. 
I haven't tightened these since I originally put it together like a week ago and it's been holding water. One thing to note is the acrylic that I used is cast, so it's not very level. Um, oh. It's actually, there's a 0.8 millimeter difference in thickness across the entire thing. So you're really taking these unflat things and trying to smush them together. Now this side. Right you there. can see the leak, Andy. Come have a look. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, so why don't you finish doing your thing then and then I'll pump it. Do, 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 do. Uh, do, do, I probably do. won't be able to tell because it's all the way in there. There's definitely one like up here. There we go. I heard it stop. We gotta get to the green zone, Colin. Take me to the green zone. See, that one popped. Yeah. But it, it's, it's tight. It seems like the top one is not the main problem. It seems like it's the bottom one. Yeah, once that's we're getting through all those layers. Struggling, yeah. And we have uneven thicknesses pressing down on an O-ring. We're holding pressure now. Yeah. And we're right on the... <gasps> oh, oh, I didn't even see that. <laughs> that's a bomb. <laughs> uh, uh, safety glasses? Uh, there they are. <laughs> oh. <laughs> For the viewers who might not have noticed what Colin and I noticed, it now has a domed top. Um, so Colin, this might be good news though. I, I did good. Okay, I've made on. a pressure vessel. Because yeah, because if this thing, uh, if water doesn't leak, then it doesn't necessarily need to pass this pressure test. But it did. Sort of. Kind of. So, yeah. I mean, it's it seems to be holding Yeah, that. can we vent the pressure now? This is scaring me. <laughs> yeah, we can vent the pressure now. Yeah, let's go ahead and just do that. Is it deflating? Yep. It's hard for me to tell from here. Oh, do you hear that creak? Oh my goodness, that was... Um, okay. Uh, that was something different. Ultimately, what our test failure means is that we're ready to rock because now that we've depressurized it, I'm confident enough to fill this thing with water. So there's still a few decisions we have to make though. This pump, for example, could be relocated. We could go straight into the inlet here, or we could rotate at 90 degrees and go into here or here so that we can try and get a nice, perfect 45 degree angle between where the tube comes out of the pump and where this comes out. We can use one of these fittings right here just to make our hard line lives a bit easier. And over here, this just isn't gonna work because this is gonna be like eight, nine degrees off axis. It's gonna look really horrible. So what we can do is we can take this one and go out 90, 90, then we'll do just an L bend here and then we'll use one of these, uh, one of these fittings, but a 90 degree right here and we'll go over to here. So that means this might actually move up here to give us a bit more space to work with and we can keep the angles all looking nice. Cause anything other than a 45 or a 90 degree turn, you have to do it with tubing and there's not enough room to put tubing here. But that's it. It didn't blow up. And for once when I say that, I mean it not like metaphorically or like, no, no, it just literally did not blow up, which is good. Oh, we need a water bottle. Uh, LTTstore.com. We just got to go there and get one. Yeah. Mm, shipping might be an issue. Actually, I have one of the uh, water cooling loop fill bottles right here. But I got a bigger one. Oh, he's got a bigger. It's not a competition, Colin. <laughs> That's what you think. <laughs> I just, okay. I just want to tip it a little. You know, yeah, okay. I mean, if we tip it all the way, it's, it's everything will go flying. Yeah, okay. It will be yote, which is the past <laughs> tense of yeet. Okay, so let's be okay. gentle. This is not exactly the thickest wood. Ye uh. Okay, okay, uh -huh. hold on, hold on. Uh -huh. uh, we have the technology. Whoa, uh -huh. so nice. Why was it so high before? Because I wanted to work up here. That's the whole idea. Okay. Please don't. Ah! I'll take the funnel. Thank you. No leaks so far, Colin, even though we've filled it up to the point of one of the leaks before. Good. Swap. That puts us at a liter and a half so far with more to go. Uh, oh, crud. Okay. Yeah, you gotta, uh, you gotta turn it on. I gotta turn it on? Yeah. For those of you just tuning into this project now, we're using these two AC to DC 12 volt converters here, the gray ones, and then they're going into a DC to DC power supply from uh, HDplex. Okay, I'm gonna like have my hand on the plug. Yeah, yeah just... good thought. At least one pump's going. Yeah, interesting. Come check this out, Andy. We've got like little micro bubbles coming out here. It just needs to get properly flooded. 
Is this one even spinning? Yeah. Yeah, it is. So okay. What's what's our theory here? Why why is this pump not? Our theory is we don't know. Let's try shaking it. Shaking the table. Okay. Okay. No board. Well, let's bring her down. Let's see what happens. Let's try power cycling again. Hello. Oh. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. That's way better. Oh yeah. Okay, this does not bode well for filling it when everything is bolted down, though. Uh, hit it again. Okay. Oh, yeah. Now we're getting some Look pumping that, power. Hey. I don't understand why it's not pulling from this inlet, though. There's bubbles moving here. Mm -hmm. They are not coming out here. <laughs> well, they might be getting stuck up here. Kel la f Actually, we're getting a little bit. Look. Micro bubbles. Yeah. So it's ingesting them through the pump. Yeah, they're getting shredded in here. Yeah. Okay, so let's top it up a little. So actually, if you look at that, we've, yeah, we've ditched a lot of bubbles. Yeah, check this out. Hey, Andy, we've got pretty good coolant velocity. Oh, look at that. Yeah, yeah like we're moving now. Woo. This wasn't as easy as I might have liked, but it's a lot easier than it could have been. Can we call it a success? Great success. Let's see what's, what's shake a lake in with these. I'm glad we're doing this test fill before actually trying to... Okay, these are definitely very bubble full. So why don't we take our boxes again and let's tilt oh, the table, tilt the table this, this way, way. And then we can fill this. And yeah, see I if see that works. Saying. Thanks. Uh, oh, a little more. Is that okay? Uh, yeah, okay, you're good. <laughs> we good? Now all the bubbles should either rise up to here or rise up through here. Oh, there we go. Yeah. Okay. So now that the pump is off, the bubbles can come up through here. So it should start sucking in here. It's definitely still circulating. So if there's circulation, it has to it's, be... It's, it has to be pulling through here now. Does it look like it's pulling? It doesn't look like it to me. So it just looks like the flow rate is a lot faster than the little amount of bubbles I can see. Wait, so that's it. That's it, yeah, we're full. Good news, Colin, all of our leak points are not leaking. Yay! So it turns out when you don't inflate it like a balloon, it's watertight. <laughs> <laughs> try anything once, that's what I say. How adventurous. Actually, I usually say try anything twice. So maybe one more time for that. Mm. Holy shnikes, I think it's working. Let's, uh, let's see what our temps are. Because I have no idea how good this block is even. Yeah, temps 38 on CPU right now. Okay, that's perfectly reasonable for idling. We are still spitting a lot of bubbles out. Like, I don't even understand where are they coming from at this point. We are gonna have so much extra footage for a Floatplane exclusive in this one. <laughs> By the way, make sure you subscribe to Floatplane. We've got behind the scenes, meet the team, cutting room floor stuff, and we try to do early access. Oh, you look at that, 32 cores. Not bad. Yeah, yeah, everything's looking okay. Everything's showing up. Now all we gotta do is paint it, hardline water cool it, get cable mod cables so it's all custom and gorgeous, RGB lighting, mm -hmm. and then I get a new desk. Then you get a new desk. Woo! Your first stand-up desk. You're kind of finally getting with the times. I know, right? Yeah. Oh, I'm so excited. No one will ever whack their leg on the side of my desk again. And it's a, I think it is actually a size increase from your old desk. It's like a foot deeper or something. And that is uh, sweet. you'll have more room for your monitors. Nice. Even though, like, if you put them here, they'll be completely unsupported. Be a um, glass. Yeah, minor details. I think the motherboard can probably take the weight. Yeah, totally. Just like you guys can take the weight to the next video. And just listen to this message from our sponsor for now. War Thunder is a free-to-play online military vehicle combat game that's available on Windows, Linux, PS4, PS5, Xbox One, Xbox Series X, and even Mac with crossplay. There's more than 34 million players around the world and it features an incredible arsenal of more than 1,700 historically accurate, playable tanks, aircrafts, and ships from the 1930s to the 1990s. You can engage in massive combined arms battles on over 80 major battlefields from World War II to the end of the Cold War, and it's being actively developed. There's free major updates every couple of months for with even more content, including vehicles, maps, and new gameplay features. So head to the link below and start playing War Thunder. You'll be able to get a free bonus premium vehicle just for signing up. If you guys enjoyed this video, maybe go check out, uh, oh, go check out the previous part because especially the render one where we show the, the vision, it's great and you can see it's changed a lot.